Hello and welcome to the tutorial of Catender Hub. This time we are looking into generic libraries. Generic libraries are a mighty tool which has many purposes. This time we want to make a quick visual check of quality and consistency of our data in the model. First we make sure that the model we are using has the parameter which we want to look into. As this particular parameter shall be on multiple IFC classes, I'm making a quick check if that is the case. Next we select the libraries in the sidebar and sort out our Windows adjustment. Within the generic libraries, we will focus on the property value libraries. By selecting them, it gives us the opportunity to create a new library. After giving the library a name, we open the 3D viewer to select an object which contains the wanted property. Next cut in the hub will process the selected data. This may take some minutes for the first time. If there is no change after some minutes, refresh the page. Now we see all the used property values which have been committed by the model owner. As we see some inconsistency in some of the values, we want to address the issue directly. So we select the object and create the issue, which then can be pushed to any authoring software of the model owner's choice. In this case, the model owner is using Revit. Thanks to our Revit plugin, the issue now can be displayed without needs for any file transfer. When the issue is resolved, you can directly upload the changes to the PCF and the IFC file as well. Now as the new revision is uploaded to your Katenda Hub, you'll have to synchronize the library once again. After doing so, you will see that the model owner has changed the property as requested. The generic property value library gives you a wide range of use cases where you can monitor certain information on different IFC types and push them back to any authoring software you want. That's it for this time. I hope you enjoyed it. See you in the next video.